Yes, yeah. new things percolating at the CoLab. So it's pretty really, exciting. Yeah, I think for the last six months we've been working on a partnership with Lighthouse Labs out of Vancouver, and they are a really immersive, intensive code boot camp where you can go and learn how to code HTML and CSS and JavaScript and other programming languages. Ruby, the full stack, basically. Like yeah. it's it's pretty exciting. These guys have this really awesome kind of like. You know, when you're on your own and trying to like learn stuff, like when I've tried to learn stuff, it's just it's usually a Which nightmare. Sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. So these guys have a nice program where they teach you to learn how to learn, you know, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, and another great thing that uh, I learned in early talks with Lighthouse was that they have a hundred percent higher rate for their program. So they pretty much guarantee that you're going to be able to get a job in the industry uh, working as a developer for a local startup or a tech company, which is mm -hmm. pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. So learn more is just show up for the info session. It's this Thursday, uh, 6 p.m. here at OK Colab, which is downtown, uh, the Kelowna Innovation Center. Center. Yeah. <laughs> so come out to that, and there'll be free pizza. And if you sign up, there's an info page. Uh, we can link that up. Um, and at the info page, if you sign up, then you have a chance to get uh, some free cool t-shirts. And these are actually quite swag. nice t-shirts. Wow. Everyone loves swag. So come out to the info session, get some free pizza, and sign up. Because, man, like that's what we need more of. We have great entrepreneurs with great ideas that are validated. Mm -hmm. We've got a whole bunch of killer developers. So we've got great devs who are quite senior that need help, right? So this is all about getting getting help and getting more success for the tech community in Kelowna. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, they'd say there are really a couple of different types of people that are going to be really interested in joining up. Mm -hmm. One is going to be somebody who's making maybe a bit of a career shift at this point mm -hmm. and sees the potential of jumping into tech as a developer is a really exciting place to be for them. And the second might potentially even be an entrepreneurial person mm -hmm. who would want to take the part-time program and bootstrap their own damn product. Yep, absolutely. Can I say damn? Is that okay? Uh, having run a co-working space over the last four years is that there's a massive surge mm -hmm. of independent workers that are coming into the market. And they don't necessarily have skills that would be great in situations where they're working as a contractor or a freelancer or what have you, or they're not necessarily entrepreneurial, so they don't know where to apply themselves in an entrepreneurial fashion. So I most certainly say uh, have it, being able to code is going to go a long way in terms of giving you options. Yeah. Second, having worked in the tech industry in Kelowna now for six years, that startups are growing and thriving. Their teams are getting bigger and bigger, and they have a huge demand for what they call talent. Uh, and that means developers and designers and researchers and just the whole team uh, growing out. So we know that a program like this is going to help satisfy that need. Yes. Yeah, p people may not necessarily know it, but the Kelowna tech community is is really picking up steam right now. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's in a place where we need a lot more development talent. You look at the Accelerate jo Okanagan job boards, and there's a ton of developer positions that aren't being filled right now. So we know that there's this need for development talent because there's great entrepreneurs with great ideas, great senior devs, and they need help. Mm -hmm. um, and getting some other people trained up so even just product it's the necessary literacy now is knowing how to code like everyone needs Absolutely. to know how to code women children everything i would like to see more female developers in the okanagan i mean that would be my dream would be see a whole bunch of amazing women uh, out there coding cool stuff and doing new startups you know Truly. there's a lot of potential there so i mean it's really up to us as the okanagan to make ourselves flourish so that would be my hope and dream for and why we're spending time doing this is because we want to see the okanagan flourish yeah. Explain to me why on earth you're doing this and what the need is in the community and why. I have my perspective. Different. I mean, Chris, Chris's might be great to kind of balance against that. But my overall perspective, uh, having run a co-working space over the last four years, is that there's a massive surge mm -hmm. of independent workers that are coming into the market, and they don't necessarily have skills that would be great in situations where they're working as a contractor or a freelancer or what have you, or they're not necessarily entrepreneurial, so they don't know where to apply themselves in an entrepreneurial fashion. So I most certainly say uh, have it, being able to code is going to go a long way in terms of giving you options. Yeah. Second, having worked in the tech industry in Kelowna now for six years, that startups are growing and thriving. Their teams are getting bigger and bigger, and they have a huge demand for what they call talent. 
uh, and that means developers and designers and researchers and just the whole team uh, growing out. So we know that a program like this is going to help satisfy that need. Yes. Yeah, p people may not necessarily know it, but the Kelowna tech community is is really picking up steam right now. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's in a place where we need a lot more development talent. You look at the Accelerate Okanagan job boards, and there's a ton of developer positions that aren't being filled right now. So we know that there's this need for development talent because there's great entrepreneurs with great ideas, great senior devs, and they need help. Mm -hmm. um, and getting some other people trained up so even just product it's the necessary literacy now is knowing how to code like everyone needs sure. to know how to code women children everything i would like to see more female developers in the okanagan i mean that would be my dream would be see a whole bunch of amazing women uh, out there coding cool stuff and doing new startups you know True. there's a lot of potential there so i mean it's really up to us as the okanagan to make ourselves flourish so that would be my hope and dream for and why we're spending time doing this is because we want to see the okanagan flourish yeah oh.